So let's unpack how the planning engine works, which is a major differentiator for Cloud Suite. You'll notice several options here. Master production schedule is where you manually tell it what you want to make and when. Somewhat like a forecast, then it will plan accordingly. This could be a good starting point for some businesses who are new to these ideas, but most businesses will quickly outgrow this and CSI offers more advanced options. Traditional MRP looks at when you need something and backs out the lead time to tell you when you need to get moving. Sounds nice, but it loses its luster when you need it today and it tells you to start 30 days ago. Does that sound judgy or is it just me? I mean, traditional MRP assumes you can get it done because it doesn't know about your capacity. Advanced MRP will. It will see the resources you have available and schedule work to them. This is a huge step up. It doesn't care about the lead time. It just knows how much labor you need from that resource and will back schedule it from the due date. But what winds up happening is you overbook your resources and wind up with 15 eight hour jobs piled up on the same resource because they all have the same due date. Because it assumes you have infinite capacity and then it's on you to pick which jobs you want to prioritize. That's a lot of work. At the top of this hill, is APS, Advanced Planning and Scheduling, which takes a very important step forward and then it will not just see your resource, but it will consider its finite capacity. This guy is only here for eight hours today. So if there are two jobs for eight hours each, it will schedule the one with a higher priority backwards from the due date and then Look for openings in your finite capacity schedule for that resource to schedule the other job. It will also schedule materials this way. So it's combining all of this to plan materials and schedule work according to your capacity. And that's some deep stuff and I just laid a bunch of nerd speak on you, but you'll set this tool to run overnight and what it will do first is toss out the current plans and then create new ones, looking at your supply, demand, capacity, lead times, all of it. APS planning doesn't judge you for not starting your job 30 days ago. It focuses on today forward, what needs to get done and presents plans for you to get there. The Material Planner Workbench is where we go to review those plans and pick the ones we want to say yes to, and it's dead easy. So the Material Planner Workbench is what I like to call the easy button for converting those plans into jobs and purchase orders. It will display the stuff you need to buy or the stuff you need to make. Based on your due date and your lead time, Here's when you need to get this ordered. It gives me a suggested quantity based on what I have on hand, what I have coming in, what I have going out, safety stock levels, min max settings, and even how far out to look. So you're not buying these three times a week. And maybe that's okay for this item, but this other one you only want to buy once a month. Fortunately, CSI gives you the control at the item level. And if you're not sure why the plan looks like this, you can go into the detail and it will tell you a story about what your quantity on hand will look like over time, should you say yes to this plan. So in this example, it's showing me what I have right now, which is below safety stock. I'm going to have two more jobs consuming them, leaving me with even less. But if I firm up the plan to buy a thousand, then I'll have a bunch. But my order min and multiple is only 100. Why wouldn't it just tell me to buy 700? 
why a thousand? Well, this is because I defined my item with a 14 day supply. So it tells me to buy enough to get me through the next two weeks. And as you can see, I'm going to have more jobs consuming it after I receive this purchase order. And by the end of my 14 days, my 1000 unit purchase leaves me just a hair above my safety stock, which is exactly what I want to see. And I can still adjust it. The plan is merely a suggestion. I can tell it to buy 1200 if it'll make me feel better. But you might also want to get it from an alternate vendor this time. You can see up top how it compares the pricing and lead times between them. The alternate vendor might have a higher cost, but he can get it here faster. And if I'm behind on this job, that's a good plan to me. So let's do it. All I have to do is click this box to use the alternate. And once I'm happy with this or other plans, I can select the ones I want by manually checking these boxes or I can tell it to process everything through a particular date. And when I hit generate, it will create purchase orders automatically. I can even tell it which PO if I just wanted to add to an existing one versus create a new one. But this tool can be used the exact same way for jobs. It can even cross reference materials to jobs if necessary. So when this item is received, it will see the job as the destination and let you bypass inventory and issue the material straight to the job. E Z. So once we've firmed up some plans to release, then we should check out how CSI does all the heavy lifting for you when it comes to scheduling. And this is the production planner home one of many role-based homepages within CSI that brings all the information you need for this role into one place with quick access to setup tools as well as shortcuts to areas relevant to you such as the uh, schedule for your resources. Here you can give it some parameters for a concise view. You can create groups of resources or you can just select them all and for now, maybe tell it to start today and show two weeks out. Um, voila, you now have a visual aid to see which resources have extra capacity, which is the light area versus these dark areas that represent when this particular resource is not available. And these blue spots represent your jobs. Now you might also use conditional formatting up here to highlight the late ones and you have some options to make it look the way that you want, but this isn't just a chart to look at. You might spot a way you can improve a late job by pulling it forward where you see extra capacity on the timeline or even by dragging it to another resource altogether. Again, consumable information with the agility to take action if needed. So back on the production planner page, a planner might also want to know about resource utilization. Well, CSI can help you quickly identify bottlenecks in your capacity. So pick a date and tell it how far out to look. Set your threshold to say, only show me resource utilized above 75%, for instance. Now it'll show you how much capacity versus load each resource has for each interval that you specified. If you spot something to investigate, you can isolate that resource and see exactly what's scheduled to it over time. So based on my criteria, I'm going to see a visual load profile along with the data beneath. In addition to scheduled jobs, it's also going to show me planned and forecast, giving me even more insight to make informed decisions.